The EDUCAS WJEC specification asks us to consider the application of situation ethics to the issue of homosexual relationships. With any question that asks you to apply, you are being asked to demonstrate AO1 skills. This means that you are asked to show your knowledge and understanding of how situation ethics could go about making an ethical decision concerning homosexuality. This means you need to be able to demonstrate your knowledge of the issues that are important in making this decision and you need to show that you understand the principles of situation ethics and how to put them into practice in real life. One of the first things to remember about situation ethics is that the boss principle of agape is applied to the individual person in each situation, not to abstract concepts or ideas. Therefore, situation ethics cannot make a general pronouncement about the goodness or badness of homosexual relationships in theory. Situation ethics does not apply any absolutes to the issue of homosexual relationships because it is all relative to love. Therefore, the question is not, are homosexual relationships morally acceptable? The question is, is this homosexual relationship going to promote agape? Agape, of course, is non-preferential. It is not a love that is based upon like or dislike, as that would be more akin to filius or eros. A homosexual relationship is likely to be one that is emotional and or sexual rather than an example of agape love. However, it does not rule out the possibility of the participants showing agape towards each other and it does not prohibit agape from being shown to them or by them. Each relationship must then be assessed in its unique situation to see whether or not agape is served or obscured by the relationship. This is also the case for any relationship, not just a homosexual one. A heterosexual relationship that is abusive or manipulative is unacceptable according to the principle of agape. So there is no difference here between a homosexual or heterosexual relationship in this regard.